Skibbity Titan Drill Man. Skibbity Toilet. So, another complicated big Titan mech thing. This is from the like multiverse. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So we want to start with this drill. Cause drill man. So you do a curved line, right? So we'll just go to about there, right? So this is like the largest end of the drill. The pointy end is up here, right? So what we're gonna do is bump the drills all the way down to there and bump all the way up to there, right? So these things go down, up, down, right, like this. So they're kind of rounded on the top. And you're, you're always sort of aiming for this point here, okay? If you want, you could sketch out like a light line all the way down to there and then use it as a guide. But if not, you could do it this way, which is quicker. All the way to the tippy top. Right, and then he's got like some stuff covering the bottom there. So maybe I'll draw that line just because he can't see it, right? So he's got like a bar or something just coming across here. It's like a bar or a railing or something here. Right. And then, so these blades then come out from underneath or the spirals of the drill come out from there. And you just keep sort of bumping. Up to there. Right, so then we got, we'll join, so, so like each of these is like, has an edge that spirals down, right? And there is actually another edge line around the back of this for the back of the drill, so I'll draw that in. Right there. And then we have all these other lines like this in the center of each of these. So they come out from these points, right? and then go back down underneath there roughly to about where this starts to bend see that from surface to surface from one side to another and it's just like spiraling around itself and i think that's it for that right so then there's lines inside here as well it kind of gives it the corkscrew sort of look right so so like from here to here okay you have one there and then there's another band on the inside right so you'll just keep adding all these Okay, and then there seems to be like, well, metal, is there? Lines and things. I'd say we'll add one. So we'll just give it an extra dimension, right? So we'll go along here, right? So it goes diagonal, and then it goes kind of flat, and then up. This is optional. It's just like an extra detail. Line that goes, runs along all of these. So when you get to these, they go like pointy up and then down the other side. It's like a hill. So it gives the illusion that they're like three dimensional going up and down. And then this one runs all the way to the front. 
Okay. Now, so he's got this like big helmet. All right, so we've got like another circle thing here. And then the helmet seems to come out the back and down, roughly that sort of shape. And then we got a break up inside here. So we add another line here. And when you're drawing like mechanical objects, you know, edge lines are always helpful. These sort of light little lines like that, just along the edge, just gives the illusion that they're more 3D. And then there's more sort of circles and mechanical sort of lines and stuff inside here. You break this up as well. Into like different sort of robot shapes. It's like, like that line. And then like little vents or something at the back here. And like another up here okay so then we move down and get the main parts of the body in and then we can add some more details to those so his body's turned so he's like looking this way right so the front of this chest part right so it kind of comes down like that and this there's a directly underneath this we got a circle that has like all a light and all cogs and gears inside it's not a perfect circle, it's turned, so it's an ellipse, right? So it's like a skinny circle. So you'll just like go. It's like kind of like an egg or a zero it would be more accurate, I'd say. Right, and then this kind of connects in behind all those cogs and things that come out from there. So inside then we have this kind of a light, right? A glowing sort of light. So it's just like dotted sort of in there. And that'll be sort of white and then red all around. And then there's wheels all inside that, right? So we'll just add the edges of them, like cogs and wheels and stuff all in here. So there's lots of ways of drawing this now, but I'll just do it the easy way. which is just these sort of curved lines coming around the sides. So they all go in behind one another. And in behind that glowing light. And there's another layer that comes out this way. Right, and like that'll all be sort of glowing, sort of this bright sort of light stuff. So you could draw it like a cartoon sort of sun if you wanted, just to illustrate that. Now, so then around this we have, like it's like a cog sort of thing. So it's all these squares, right? So you could just do these dashes first, just to mark out each one. And they kind of get skinnier as they go. And maybe some of them will disappear. They get real tight to this, you know. And we'll put, so that's one there. Should be another one maybe here, here, here. And they kind of disappear back there, right? So you got to give them the impression that these are like cogs, right? So you go down the sides of each of these. Right, and then they'll go back to here. So you're making them look sort of three-dimensional and connected. Right, so like this kind of a thing. It's tricky enough. So. Okay. And like, if you wanted to draw a circle just around the back, just to show where the back of that is, kind of disappears under here then. Okay, and then you can bring these lines back. 
Now, of course, you could just draw the circles. You don't have to do the cogs if it's too tricky. Okay, and then we'll try and join them together. Try and make them look a bit three-dimensional back here. We should see the corners of some of these. Some of them anyway. I try and make them look a bit like gears and stuff. Right, that's pretty good. And then, so, He's got a leg and what else? Okay, so like just under here, we have like a bit of like a crotch shape, but there's another circle, so another rim to this. Okay, so like it's more square, sort of goes up that way. And then he has like, an area here for his waist, right? And it's like dark in here. Then this comes down across. He needs a leg somewhere here. And then this will just go down off my page, right? So I'll just go like down that way. And the inside of it will be here. And then we basically have a thigh like a knee and then there's like a kneecap or something here it's like another box now there's all metal and scratches and stuff on this but we'll just get the main shapes in first right I'm going that way this is like his leg right another metal plate there and they've got handles on these like these kind of s-shaped handle things on his knee, kind of bars. <laughs> and then the other side, so he's got another sort of S-shaped handle sort of coming across here. Goes down around this, sits onto his leg. This is his other leg coming down this way, right? That's all these metal plates and stuff, and there's another metal plate in behind. This goes off this way then. And it's kind of like connected into his hip, just with these metal plates and stuff here. Okay, big arm here and a smaller arm over this side, right? So, say like the shoulder joint, we've got these curved metal plates here. And then there's like another section it goes up underneath the armpit there. And again, lots more detail in that, but we, we'll come back to it. We'll get the main shape in first. And he has a big, shoulder pad here which comes down into there and the so the other side of this then seems to be like here and it comes in around up and the inside of that goes up and down like that okay there's all details in here as well but we connect it to his 
and that goes down this way. So we have a curved line. And then this will go like down and it'll have like curves and stuff on top of it. And his elbow kind of goes off the page, right? So I'm adding these sort of bumping lines here because there's all these different connectors and all this kind of stuff, right? So there's like another piece of metal in this part. This is yellow, this is silver. And it's like a big drill arm then just goes like down that way. And then you can connect this up to his body that side. And then here, these sort of box-like shapes that way. Something down there. Okay. He also has like a, a rocket ship cylinder thing back here. And we'll just keep this as simple as we can. So it's got like a sort of NASA sort of engine on the back. And then his other shoulder bumping out here. This is the small shoulder now on the other side of his body. And then we can see this sort of bumpy situation again with the orange and yellow metal plate on the other side of his chest. And then his other drill arm goes this way basically just like comes out here, goes off the page. And this has like lots of details inside, but basically these curved lines that curve along the cylinder, because you're, you're just drawing sort of cylinders and pipes and, and stuff all going this way, right? And there's like another line for that here. So that's the hand behind his knee. Okay, so that's like the overall shape, right? So, you gotta sort of detail it up, right? So I think I'll start on the chest and then work to the arms and then work to the arms, down the arms and the legs, right? So inside here, we seem to be extremely dark. So, and that's his hip, right? So we'll go, we'll color this black, right? Cause it's all shadows. Always useful to color some areas of these just pure black. And maybe we'll leave a plate here. Okay, and then we have some extra areas. So like say under this, there's like some more sort of pipes and like rims of things. All coming around here. Like stepping down that way, and like there seems to be another shadowy area. Well, no, did I do that there already? Yes, right, and then cross it's like a, a metal stud or bolt or something here, and then some more lines that just break up all of this stuff here. These have like corners and edges and boxes and things sort of like this, you know, little sort of lines that break everything up. And you can kind of just do, keep doing these kind of everywhere. And like textures and scratches are always a good thing to do as well. Like windows or something up here. Bars and metal and stuff all on this. And then shoulder lines and things here. 
like all welded metal, all this kind of thing. And then there's like a dark black section in underneath his armpit here. It's like a disc or something here. So it's like heavily rendered in 3D modeling and all this. It's just black inside here. So again, another dark shadow like that really makes everything look a little bit three-dimensional. You could do one kind of like in his hip as well, you know. There's various places you can add these things. I think there's another shadow in here. There's a couple around the place, but we'll just we'll add them as we go. And right on his shoulder, so we've got like these circles with spikes sticking out of them. So another one kind of here. And then we've got a little spike seemingly sticking out this way. This has an extra edge line to it. Like that, and then it goes back around this way. And right to the edge of his sort of shoulder line there. And maybe like another little edge line there and so break it up with some lines like this. And then his shoulder has more plates and bolts and everything. And say like this has an edge. And then little sort of lines like this coming down. Right, and then we got like a shoulder connector thing in here. Like, you know, how this armor is sort of connected to the inside of this wheel. You know, there's like, these kinds of things. You know, for all the engineers out there who like this kind of stuff. You know. I might actually darken this one up a bit in here. Just put a shadow. All right, and then we have uh, boxes and stuff on, on his shoulder here. coming around see from well pipes and curves and all of this kind of stuff edge lines and curved lines and little sort of boxes and things like that and it's uh, so his like arm has a curving sort of half moon kind of shape or a line like that on this. And there's another edge there and something else coming around. Like a seam line going down the whole arm. And then this piping or this arm has more sort of spikes kind of sticking up there. And then it has like a big hole on the inside of the arm. Here with springs inside, so it's like a couple of curved lines here, and then this will be just a shadow black. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that like goes in, it's like a hole. Okay, so we're getting there now. So the other arm, right? We've got this this situation. So this other circle ellipse with a spike. You know, these sort of like hands of a clock going around and then you just go around that again so like a little sort of edge line like 
that. And then this goes back this way. Sort of connects here. And there's like an underneath part to this arm, it looks like. I'll put a bit of a shadow here. So mechs and titans are always complicated, aren't they? They're like, they take ages. I think I'm getting faster at them though. The lines connect in here and then these sorts of things again. Yeah, and then like scratches and textures and maybe like cracks and things, dirt on, on his drill, you know. And then those lines on the arm again, just curving across these bumps. And then it seems to have like a seam that runs down. And one of those other curved shapes like this. And then like little boxes and stuff. And then the arm itself, so this is like so that's his leg, but his arm's in behind, right? It's hard to see. So let's give this a go. So this like has metal on it, right? So we go with an edge. And then it has a little bump here. I guess it's like those spikes. And another one. Another little edge line there. And then inside this, there's another sort of dark hole section. Right here. And again, these sorts of spiraling sort of blades things. Do, do, do. Right, and then like we'll give this an edge like, just to make it look a little bit 3D and like add a stud or something here, like scratches and all this kind of thing. And, like this has more spiraling lines just coming around there. And then, so this is like his knee. So there's all like pipes and edge lines and things all on this. Like this is kind of broken up into shadows here. So they're all shadowing this one. It's like do 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 do. And Last place, of course, like you can add more detail to this if you want, but I'll, this is the last one, right? So we'll go, these little bolts coming off here. There's like scratches and all stuff on this. Dots and Right. right, I think that'll do me anyway. Now you can add colour or shade. Titan Drillman. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.